Imagine you want to add another 150 horsepower and another 150 foot-pounds of torque. Well, what do you do? Do you add a turbocharger, a supercharger, a new exhaust? Actually, you turn it into a hybrid. And Vonin, with their shadow drive, they can do that. A hybrid 911 might turn off purists, but the technology doesn't turn the historic sports car into a Prius. Quite the opposite. It adds an incredible 150 horsepower and 150 pounds of torque, and the result is impressive. To really demonstrate the system's capabilities, automobile aftermarket component maker Vonin put it in the Porsche 911 Carrera, the least powerful of the model lineup with only 350 horsepower. It's magnificently fast, and it's hard to go back to just the regular powertrain. It just kicks in as you depress the throttle and adds an extra boost that throws you back in your seat. But what's even more impressive is how Vonin is able to accomplish this feat. All that power comes from an EV motor placed between the gas engine and the transmission, where the stock flywheel typically resides. Instead now, there's a thin EV power plant. Vonin has a custom flywheel that sits between it and the transmission, but the starter is gone. The electric motor handles that task now. To accommodate the extra 25 millimeters the EV motor adds between the transmission and engine, the team created a custom mount for the gearbox. But that's only about an inch of space added for an extra 150 horsepower, which is a pretty good trade-off. Meanwhile, the battery pack is placed beneath the forward trunk and the controller is placed behind the back seat. If you'd rather have a sleeper 911, as if that's a thing, the company says they can mount it somewhere else out of sight. All of this is controlled by a companion app with four settings, off, street, sport, and overboost. Each mode adjusts when the shadow drive is enabled and how much power it pushes. The drive itself uses the accelerator position to determine when to spin itself up for a boost. Street mode uses less power but appears sooner. Sport mode on the other hand adds more power but doesn't get going until the accelerator has been depressed about 60% down. Overboost is a bit like ludicrous mode. It's fun for short, insanely quick takeoffs, but the company is guessing most drivers will use Sport while they're driving aggressively. The version of the app I use while driving isn't what the customer will get. Instead of a series of indicators determining if the system is ready to go, they'll get a red, yellow, or green single notification. Also, the motor will be 30% more thermally efficient than what I drove, so it'll be able to do more overboost launches before the system needs to cool down. Of course, this tech comes at a price, a rather steep one for regular folks. The turnkey solution is $75,000. While they use the Carrera as their test car, Vonin sees GT2 and GT3 911 owners as their core customers, folks that are totally fine shelling out big bucks for a huge power increase. A bonus is that the shadow drive works with air-cooled 911s, so old school cars will get a high-tech burst of power that should impress everyone at the local Porsche club. The shadow drive will work on stock or modified engines and doesn't require any fiddling with the vehicle's CPU. The car essentially thinks the power is coming from going downhill. The reality is that it's the technology we typically associate with gas savings tuned to make a fast car go even faster. That updated motor is in production right now and will be part of the $75,000 turnkey package if you decide to upgrade your 911. You just drop it off here and about a week later you pick it up and it's ready to, well, snap your neck. For more exciting automotive coverage, be sure to subscribe to Engadget.